Okay, this is a revision clip on how to multiply or expand pairs of brackets, um, which is a typical GCSE grade C maths question. So here, for example, we're going to look at expanding a pair of brackets like along the lines of x plus 2, x plus 3. Okay then, how do we go about doing this? So our example is x plus 2, x plus 3, and we just do a number of easy steps. So we start off by doing x times x, which is x squared. We then do x times 3, which is 3x. We then do 2 times x, which is 2x. And then finally we do 2 times 3, which is 6. So at this stage we've got x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 6. Now that's such an example of the brackets expanded, but what we do need to do is to simplify it. So there's the x squared and the 6, which we can't simplify, but the x's in the middle, we can. Now here we just simply say 3x plus 2x is 5x, so our final answer is x squared plus 5x plus 6. And in an exam, just underline your answer. Now a slightly harder example is this one where we're asking to multiply or expand x plus 3, x minus 5. So the process to start with is the same. x times x is x squared. x times minus 5 though is minus 5x. 3 times x is pretty straightforward. It's 3x, and then we need to be very careful with the end here, because 3 times minus 5 is minus 15. Remembering that a plus times a minus is a minus. Now, very similar to before, we've actually expanded the brackets there, so x plus 3, x minus 5 is x squared, minus 5x plus 3x minus 15. What we do need to do, though, is to simplify. So again, we see we've got an x squared and minus 15. There's nothing we can do with those, but the bit in the middle, we can simplify. And minus 5x plus 3x is 2x. So the expanded and simplified answer is x squared minus 2x minus 15. And as I said on the previous question, just make sure you underline your answer. So what we've done there is two examples of how to expand and simplify. What's going to happen in a second is a screen's going to come up with seven questions. Now when that comes up, I would urge you to pause the video, get your exercise book out, get a pad out, and have a go at the seven questions. When you've done them, start the video again, go on to the slide where the answers are, and check your answers through to make sure you've got the questions correct. So here we go, here's seven questions on expanding brackets. So what you need to do is expand them, just like I did in my examples, and then simplify. So in a second, pause the video, have a go at the seven questions, and then check your answers. And here are the answers to the questions, so you can hopefully go through your work and cross-check your answers against my answers. Key thing to do is tick them so you know what you got right, cross them um, so you know where you went wrong. If you've gone wrong, try and work out where you've gone wrong. If you can't work it out, obviously you must talk to me or talk to one of your maths teachers and get the problem sorted out. You can't leave a problem unaddressed. And finally, and as always, I hope you found this video useful. If there's any further problems, don't hesitate to talk to me or one of your maths teachers.